many people like to wake up to a gentle sunrise. And your smart home can easily simulate that for you. But if you have a changeable schedule, then that can make it a real pain to automate. So I've come up with two different methods for making this easier by basing the automation in Home Assistant off of your phone's alarm. The first way is actually quite simple. First, create a script in Home Assistant, which will increase the brightness of the lights that you want to wake you up, making sure that the first time it's run, it turns the light on, and then each time after that, it increases the brightness step. Then head on over to the Shortcuts app and create a shortcut like I've done here. You can either use the Home Assistant Shortcuts Run Script action and select the script that you'd like to run, but this may only work while you're home. Or you can do what I've done and expose the script through HomeKit Bridge, which I've discussed in a previous video, and then switch that on using an Apple Home action. Then once you have your shortcut, head over to Automations, add a new automation for when the desired alarm goes off, select Run Immediately, and then select the shortcut you created. And for a bonus here, you can use the same method to create another automation to set the lights to go to the max brightness once the alarm is stopped to make sure you definitely get up if you miss the snooze and stop your alarm. Now overall, this method is fairly simple, but it has the disadvantage that your phone is required to have battery when the alarm goes off and have been unlocked since the last reboot in order to work. So if your phone dies in the night, this isn't going to run. And you can also only run it every nine minutes or so, however long the iPhone snooze is. And you might also be wondering, why does Home Assistant need to be involved at all? Just increment the lights from the shortcut. Sounds simpler, doesn't it? But the trouble is, Apple Home is missing the basic action to increase or decrease the brightness of a light. So the best you can do is a bunch of if statements, which check if the light level is between 10 or 20%, then set it to 30%, etc. Which is even more work. Thanks, Apple. Anyway, the other method that you can use is to first create a helper in Home Assistant, which you use to store the time that your wake-up automation will trigger. Then download this shortcut I created, and when you add it, it should go through a workflow like this, where you can add the name of the alarm on your device that you want to stay sync with, and the entity ID of the alarm datetime helper that you created in Home Assistant a moment ago. Once you have that installed and configured, head over to the Automations tab and create a couple of automations like we did earlier, which are going to run that shortcut to sync it back to Home Assistant. The first one will run overnight, at a time where you are sure that you have set your alarm and gone to bed. Mine runs at midnight because I'm old and I make sure that Home Assistant doesn't do anything else that might cause it to fail around this time, like backups or updates. The second automation is optional, but if you really want to make sure that the alarm is going to sync back to Home Assistant, as quickly as possible after you make a change, then you can add another automation which runs when you close the clock app like I'm doing here. This will run exactly the same shortcut to sync it back whenever you make an alarm change and then exit the clock app. And that's it. You can now trigger an automation in Home Assistant to do whatever you want to wake you up at the time that you set your phone alarm for the night before. I hope you find this useful. As always, remember, home is where the smart is.